Eric Hovind and myself visited a children's museum, or rather the children's museum, in Indianapolis. And one of the displays that was in that museum was of a dinosaur by the name Dracorex hogwartsii. Very unusual name. Why was it called that? Well, hogwartsii you will recognize immediately as being an allusion to the Harry Potter books. Hogwarts being the school where those trainee wizards are supposed to have been. So it's an allusion to fiction. Dracorex is Latin for dragon. So they're saying that this is the sort of dragon that you get in legends. When you look at a picture of this creature, you'll see that the bone structure looks very much like some of the traditional dragon pictures that we get in literature. Now that's interesting. I cannot prove to you that this dinosaur was the dragons of legends. However, I do believe that the dragons of legends were real creatures that human beings saw. And therefore it's possible that this is one of those. I think that other dragons probably had other appearances. But they were being discussed and talked about before the word dinosaur was even invented. It's interesting, therefore, that secularists have actually come up with a similar idea. Although they believe that this creature must have been extinct millions of years before human beings are around, they point to its appearance and say this is maybe where legends of dragons came from. I, on the other hand, not believing that the world is millions of years old, not accepting the idea that creatures have evolved, and believing that the Bible says that land animals were created on the same day as humans, human beings must therefore have seen these creatures. And it's perfectly legitimate to suggest that this is one of the many dragons that human beings would have seen. It's just that in some ways, evolutionists, in their rather slow manner, are beginning to catch up on some aspects of what creationists have been saying for many, many years.